Reversing string in Python is a very popular question in Python coding interview or in your day-to-day -day work life. Let's learn how to do that. We are going to use the Google Colab as the IDE for our this video. However, you can use VS Code or any other code editor for this specific task. The objective of the reverse string here is going to be reversing the elements or the characters of the string. For example, here, what we want to achieve is if we have a word YouTube, then the reverse of the YouTube is going to be E B U T U O Y. And that's what exactly it's going to look like when you reverse the string and you can pass any lengthy characters here or lengthy sentence here and it will be all reverse. YouTube is the video content media or something like that. If I hit run, it will be like this. So it says YouTube is the video content media, but all of those characters begin from right, go to left in the all reverse order. This is what is our objective here in this video. Let's do that. There are two ways to do it. Let's begin with the easiest way to do that. Define a function called reverse string and you can pass on the string as a parameter there or any string that you have to reverse the order. And then you can do is simply say return and have the string and you can say colon, colon, and then negative one. And it will be simply created a function that will return reversed string. If I run that, it will simply return the reverse of whatever is the string that you want to reverse. That's the easiest way. But when you are doing some Python interview or you want to do in more Pythonic way, we can do slightly differently. First of all, I need to have a container which stores the reversed string, reversed elements or reversed characters of the string. So I will say reversed as a empty string in which you don't have anything. This is empty string. Now I want to go element by element. I want to grab Y. I want to grab O. I want to gra grab U. I want to grab T. I want to grab U again. I want to grab B. I want to grab E, e and so on uh, from the string that I need to reverse. So to do that, I will write a for loop here for I in, I will say in the entire range of the text, right? So I want to say range of whatever is the length of this string. So length means what is the count of all the characters within this string that is beginning with the opening code and ending with closing code. So I would say len and then I will pass on the string. So basically when I say string, I want to have this part of the information to be my string. So for example, I have the string variable already created here. So string one equals, and I want to pass on the copy text here. YouTube is the video content media. Now I'm passing that on and in that string, I want to count how many of those are there. So basically len function would count the number of characters. I will say string because that's our parameter string. And I have to do minus one. The reason behind minus one is because Python indexing begins with zero. So for example, if you want to count the length of this, so you will say len string one, right? And it will give 35. But according to Python indexing, when index number starts from zero, then it would be technically 34. So to say exact Pythonic len, you have to do length of the string and then minus one. Then the next one is going to be stop negative one, which it's going to avoid because we want to go up to the all the way to the end of the string. And I want to do the step I want to go is negative one, which means from 34, I want to go 33, 32, 31, 30, and so on. So basically, I'm just going through from right towards left on the characters so that I can add to this empty string. So that's how you would be going in the range function. And range functions components are start, stop, and the step. That's what we are doing here starting point, 
So that is the 34 in this str specific string case. And then we are going to do the stop, which is going to be negative one means up to all the characters in the, in the string. And negative one step means we will go up to from 34 up to the end, which is going to be the very first character. That's a Y here. And I will add colon here. And in the next line, since the reverse is the empty string right now, I want to add individual element of the string. So if I had to go through this, so I will go from here, like A, I, D, E, A, and so on, individual elements or individual characters in the reversed empty string. And then at the end, what I would do is return the reversed. So once we have added everything here, then this reverse will be in our return statement of the function definition here. And once it is successfully defined here, we can call the function reverse string and then I will pass on the string. So for example, here, string one is the value that contains UTV is the media, is the video content media. Then instead of providing entire the characters or entire sentence here, I can simply say string one. If I run that, it would be all will be reversed. We can use this function again dynamically. So I can say reverse string for any other string. So let's say data speaks. If you see this, now it will be just reverse D A T A S P E A K S. So it's a reversed sequence. You can try this again, reverse string, and you can say YouTube is the video company. Just one example. If I hit run, look at that. All of those strings are easily reversed. So this is the one of the most desired way of reversing strings in Python for many of those Pythonic way of doing that. And here reverse plus uh, plus equals means that reverse It's the same way of saying reversed equals reversed plus string I. And that is a shortcut of since instead of saying reverse twice, you simply say reverse plus and equal to then string of I, each element of the string. And we are adding that all the way to the, from the very first one to last one, and in the reverse order from the last one to very first one, and we are then returning the reverse that contains the reversed string from the given parameter string.